small, strange, alien cosmonaut. In 1975, a Japanese man snapped most, one of the most intriguing images of an alleged alien being ever to be captured on film. Kanawanae, it was a city that was once located near the center of the Japanese island of Shin- Shinkyu, however, on April 1st, 2004. Kanawanae was merged with Duryo, Sengju, and Iskarao Shima, the former new populous of Shinkyu, Karoguru, sadly, there are many other people who are currently residing in this epic urban sprawl have no idea that one time their purple backyard played host to the world's most unusual visitors. On the night of March 24th, 1975, a man named Gutra Sikutintie was in landfill in Katuri when he stumbled across a site would force him to reassess his preconception notions about the world in which he lived. According to Shutro's report, something during the night, he spied what he described as luminous suit-clad figure, not unlike the Kamunia Lula Lune humanoid, that seemed to be suspended mid-air. Shutrune would later estimate that this unusual entity which he wasted no time in dubbing an alienist cosmonaut, was hovering about seven feet off the ground and at a distance approximately 300 feet from him. Shunintre, who had claimed to see a foe in the past, was not alarmed by apparently weightless apparition. He did not claim he immediately developed a headache. He did, he did claim that he immediately developed a headache. While well, it's pure speculation, one must wonder whether or not this alleged alien was trying to communicate against the shooter. The theory is based on the fact that numerous other alien witnesses have made similar claims, including the unlucky Italian night watchman, Pier Ferrento Silvifide, who claimed he suffered head-splitting headaches while his alien captors attempted to communicate with him what, it, what is now known as the harrowing Silvetta alien abductions. We're standing by the site of obscenely alien entity, Shonande became obsessed with the notion of capturing this visitor on film in order to prove the bizarre counter, bizarre counter was real, not the product of overactive imagination, or worse, as some doubt speculated. So, armed with no less than three cameras, it was with grim determination that Sugar Ray returned to the scene of his encounter night after night. Or oh, this is sort of mania effects. Many who have added brushes are unknown, opening up new doors and crying, foraging new obsession. Most sadly, are never able to get another glimpse beyond the veil. Shotaway have approved the exception to the rule. A night of March 31st, after a week of lurking in the landfield with dogged patience, Shotaway claimed he was suddenly stricken with another brutal headache. When he looked up, it was he was what he described as a shukare bush blush white electrical disturbance floating near roughly 300 feet in front of him. Shukare had been staring in fraud at an anonymous cloud-like formation for several minutes. He testified that almost six feet tall humanoid of apparition appeared in the midst of the disturbance. He stated that this unusual being Literally descended until it was hovering just a foot of the ground. As it, it is then it began to glide towards the intrepid amateur investigator. Should Gray, to his credit, refused to succumb to panic, and rose to the occasion snapping photos as quickly as he could, could using his Nikomat EL cameras and two twenty two hundred ML Nikokor lens. His pictures which bear more than a passing resemblance of metal men of folk Flukeville have, have for reasons difficult to ascend, ascend but all faded into ufology obscurity. The unknown entity has transversed more than half the distance between it and Shukoge. It suddenly veered to the right. The glowing thing that travelled in that direction was extraordinarily right about. Thirty feet before it disappeared. Why? 
it must have felt like an entity. Shokurai quickly determined that his entire event had lasted no more than a minute. It should have been noted that a month before Shokurai's disturbing encounter, in Kufu City, Japan, two young students also claimed to have had a face-to-face encounter with an unknown suit-clad alien entity. Entony. While these those boys did not have a camera or a hand, they did manage to draw what has come to be known as the famed humanoids, humanoids of Khufu. Whether or not there is any direct connection between these two strange cases, save the time proximity, remains to be seen. Still, others have concluded that images are reminiscent of the male famous Columbian spaceman image. Shukri never encountered this odd creature again, but what if it was be alien vader, interdimensional being, or time traveller or space ghost? Photos prove that this thing was real, not a figment, one man's imagination.